Hello my friend and welcome back. My name is Hannah and today I have my, I'm drawing a blank, my August Ami Ami haul. Um, we're in September right now, very beginning of September by the time I'm filming and this video goes live. I already feel like 2023 is already here, but what do I know about time? I've been saying since 2020, probably even before 2020, time doesn't feel real to me. Um, and I'm sure you probably feel the same way. But in today's video, I will be going over the items that I hauled. Um, I don't really, I don't have any figures in this video. So if you wanted to see figures, not this one, but I know my October, November, and December orders will have figures. Do I have something coming in January? I think I have. Yes, I have one figure coming in January as well. So today's video is mostly going to be character goods and home goods and some stationery. Um, so if you're curious about what I'm wearing on my face, what I mentioned in today's video, uh, what I'm doing in other pockets of the internet, I always have links in the description box down below. Um, but also, if you've been watching my channel for a while, uh, my background probably looks different, but also probably very, very similar. Um, I, I've been moving around my content room and that's why I've been gone for the past week. And I just wanted to utilize this space so I can make all the content that I like to make. Um, I I know I say this all the time, I want to be consistent with the content that I make and I have a lot of big ideas for bigger and larger things. So I just gotta set up a space in order to do that. Um, my Nothing, like this glare is bothering me and obviously I'm not gonna keep this shelf completely empty um, and I do want to move my figure shelf from my other wall over this way like right here I don't know we'll see what happens um, so I'm still working some stuff out so it's kind of a work in progress you probably will see some things changing um, if you have any suggestions leave it in the description box down below I Believe me, it would help. So if you're not familiar with Ami Ami, they're one of my favorite websites to order my anime goods from. You can get anything from those big expensive like one piece figures that you see people reselling on eBay for like thousands of dollars to like, I don't know, home goods like cups and spoons and things like that and anything in between. Um, they don't just carry anime goods. Like, I don't know, if you're a big fan of like Snoopy or Tom and Jerry and things like that, um, you can also find those kind of goods on Ami Ami. It's basically what, like a Japanese shop that sells like uh, commodity items. Am I using that properly? Like they they have a range of things. It's not just Naruto, One Piece, um, naked anime girl figures. They got they got a lot of other stuff. The thing is, you are ordering directly from Japan, so shipping can get expensive. But what I find with Ami Ami is that there are items that are just cheaper, even with the more expensive shipping, to get on Ami Ami than to wait until it gets to the state. Um, this fig or this figure, this video is not sponsored by Ami Ami. Everything that I mentioned in today's video, I did purchase with my own money. So I don't know. I'm just speaking as one anime goods collector to another. Um, check out Ami Ami if you haven't already. So I do like to start these videos off with the art piece that comes with it. Usually you get an art card every time you get an Ami Ami order. And this month's uh, art card is so cute. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm a big fan of bunny girls and racer girls. And usually you'll find like a popular series and like take Evangelion. How many figures of Asuka and Rey can you find in racer girl costumes? I, do they have bunny girl costumes for Asuka and Rey? I don't know. They probably do. They have to. Um, I don't know. If you like Yoko from Good and Login, she has like one of the most iconic bunny figures, those kind of things. But this month it's bunny figures and I just, I love it. I don't know. I can show you my whole haul of these cards too. I just, they're my favorite part. Sometimes the art isn't that great and it's not my favorite, whatever, but I really, I love the ones like these because I don't know. I have a board over here and I just, I swap them out. So the first items I'm going to start off with um, are rubber keychains. Now, rubber keychains, uh, I'm like a hoarder. I buy them all. 
because I'm a monster. And I kind of treat them like I would stickers. A lot of the time, they don't even leave their packaging because I don't want to risk losing them. Nothing breaks my heart more than losing a keychain. And I've had it happen. I had a really cute Monchichi keychain and I lost it in an Albertsons. And whoever found that Monchichi, you're welcome. Um, anyway, so I, there's a particular series where it looks like they're being picked up like the, by the back of their shirt. If you like these types of keychains that I'm about to show you, you can usually find them for any series under the sun from animes to video games, all of that. It's pretty popular. But I did get, um, this is like series two of these rubber keychains from Evangelion. But I got Kaoru, I got Misato, and I got the Eva 2. The Eva 2 is my favorite. Well, I'm a big Asuka fangirl. And you can find the Eva 1 in anything. They always make water bottles, backpacks, sweaters, all, all of that. The Eva 1 is the purple and green one that everybody knows and it's iconic. But I love, I love the Eva 2. And I mean, with the new movie coming out, you get the Berserker Eva 2 on a lot of stuff. I don't really care about Mari. I'm one of those people. I don't care about Mari. I want my iconic Eva 2 and I have it. Um, I know I said I'm a big Asuka fan girl, but obviously Misato is like best girl across the board. Better than everybody else. Like she is the best girl. There's something about the purple haired anime girls that are just, they're top tier for me. And my uh, pyramid of different colored anime, different colored anime girls? Different colored hair anime girls right? Because there's pinks, there's blues, there, there's a whole pyramid. At the top of my pyramid is the purple haired babes and I love Misato. I wish there was a Kaji keychain because I want the two of them together. And then Makauru, he's in his normal like clothes. I do have a Shinji, Asuka, and Rei but they're in their zero suits. Um, that was from like series one. They do have a Kauru in his zero suit, I believe, but I don't know. His zero suit's cool because it's like black and gray, um, but I like this one. These, I believe these are still available because they're re-releasing them. They should be coming out November 2022. Yeah, so they're coming out in the next few months. You can pre-order them right now. Um, they're $7 each, more or less, and I know in this particular series, there's Asuka, Rei, and Shinji in their school uniform. There's Asuka with her movie uh, zero suit where she's wearing the jacket and the hat with the eye patch. And then there's Rei from the movie where she's uh, working with the old ladies and she's wearing the straw hat and her um, black zero suit. There's one of the angels and I think I'm missing one. There's another one. There's like six of them in the thing, seven of them. Um, and the one that I purchased in series one where they had the, the main three in their zero suits, you could get another angel. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I'm trying to blank on the other ones as well. But usually, how do I phrase this? Sometimes these keychains go out of stock forever. Sometimes they come back. So if you like it, just keep your eye out for them. Um, you can probably find series one online, but they're not going to be seven. They're going to probably be like twenty dollars a keychain. The next set of rubber keychains I purchased is actually a set of seven, and I don't think anyone's going to be surprised or shocked. I'm not, but I did spend thirty dollars. Well, I think it was like twenty six dollars for this set, and it is the original Naruto team set. This came out originally like while Naruto Shippuden was still like airing um, and they finally, Mega House finally re-released them. They, the last time they came out with uh, rubber keychains was for the Boruto series and they were releasing the teams. Well, I don't think it was the teams. I think it was like Naruto, Sasuke, and then like the new Team 7 with Boruto in it. I have those keychains and then the special um, keychain in that set was the original Team 7 keychain and that's the one that I really wanted so then when I opened the box and then I got like the um, new Team 7 I was really disappointed but anyway the only reason I was really trying to get this keychain was because this set had been like 
discontinued if you will so they finally brought it back and it's all of the original teams so it's the konoha team and then the gara's like sand village team and the original team seven with obito uh, rin and kakashi i love these you could buy a whole set like this fairly cheaply on ami ami like i said it was 26 dollars for this box of seven and i'm assuming it has one of each in there um, at least that's what I'm hoping because if I don't get this original Team 7, I'm going to be pissed because this particular keychain sells for like mega dollars on like eBay, Mercury, like resellers. Um, but when you go to a local anime store and you try to buy them like individually, they'll be $16 a pop. So let's move on to the next category and this is stationery. I have two items in particular, so I'll start with the smaller item first. I did pick up these Attack on Titan stickers. I think I may have mentioned this before, but stationery for anime series are just so special because a lot of the time that's the only time you can find like specific official art. So this particular series, um, I'll insert a picture here because I don't know if I can get like a clear shot, but it's them and they're like, what am I trying to say? Like the Demon Slayer era, like that feudal era of Japan. And I, I love how cute these characters look. I believe there was two sets of stickers. I couldn't find the second one. Usually how they split them up, it's like Eden and his team. And then the second set will have like uh, Levi, Erwin, Hang, and like uh, Berlo, Ani, um, and what's the other one? Oh my God. Rainer. Oh my God. I almost forgot about the most depressed boy um, and it'll usually have them on a set and then like I said Eden and his team on another set I there was also like a, a desk mirror like a, like a pocket mirror with these with this art on it I couldn't get the mirror in time it had sold out before I could pre-order it um, but the stickers were still available so I picked them up what I'm gonna use them on I don't know but like they look they just they're so cute and then Sasha eating the bread Ugh, they're just everybody's cute everybody's cute and I had to have it okay judge me whatever the second item I got was this Kiki's delivery service planner um, this is for 2023 you can get tons of different planners on Ami Ami from all shapes and sizes um, they have so many series available you do kind of have to act fast when it comes to the planners because like they sell out fairly quickly um, and their pre-orders usually come out fairly quickly. Like, I think I only had this pre-ordered for like two months or so before it actually got to me. Um, which is rare because sometimes an item will go live like in January and it doesn't even come out until like December. But they didn't just have Kiki's Delivery Service. If you are a huge fan of any of the Ghibli films, and I mean any of them, not just like the Ponyos and Spirited Aways and my our Howl's Moving Castle movies, um, there's like Porco Rosco and A Whisper of the Heart. All of the all of the movies, all of the movies, they usually have like really nice merchandise like this. I know this particular planner had like um like this series had like a Howl's Moving Castle one, a Porco Rosco one. I believe there's even a Whisper of the Heart one. Um, Whisper of the Heart is like one of my favorite Ghibli movies and I feel like it's one of the least talked about Ghibli movies. Um, and I don't know, you can go to Hot Topic and Box Lunch and you can get Ghibli merchandise. I just don't think it's of the quality of the ones that you can get directly from Japan. Um, I don't know, Ghibli is like Sanrio in Japan where like all of the really nice stuff and stationery and home decor and just home goods and like uh, clothing and stuff comes from Japan. And then the stuff that you get at Hot Topic is kind of like kid-like. So it's just, I don't know, it, it's whatever, whatever you like because you might like the more kid-like stuff. I don't know, I'm not you, I just, I know what I like. Um, the case, the cover of the planner is more of like a pleather leather kind of finish. Um, and I can't wait to like open this and look at the pages. Uh, I believe that the planners are still, some of the series like they, they go out quickly. Like I don't believe this Kiki one is available, but I believe there's like a Totoro one still available. I think a Ponyo one's still available. Um, and if you like, like I said, if you like the Ghibli 
series and you like the movies and you like the stationery and things like that there's always stuff on Ami Ami for sale you just gotta kind of act quickly because i think a lot more people are catching on that the really cool merchandise is coming out of japan and you can get it from Ami Ami. okay so now we're in the final leg we're in the home goods section of my haul um this is why my box is so big i usually like to start these videos with showing you my box and i don't know what i'm going to do for my thumbnail because the box will not fit in frame. It's massive, but now I kind of understand why. So let's start with item number one. It's another, it's another Attack on Titan um, item, and it is these Colossal Titan slippers. Look, uh, I, I'll insert a picture here. I believe it's in 2016, they released uh, floor mats, and you can get one of the Scouts logo and then the Colossal Titan. And I had the Colossal Titan, and it was my first ever uh, Attack on Titan like purchase, like item in my collection for Attack on Titan. What am I trying to say? I bought it before I watched the anime. I am a late. I'm late on Attack on Titan. I am kind of a hipster in that, like I. It's hard for me to get into things that are really super hyped because I don't trust. <laughs> Look, a lot of the things that people get, like, especially with anime, a lot of the time what kind of catches people's attention and they're like, oh my god, this is so great, is their first introduction to anime. And I'm not saying that the series are bad, it's just they're not entertaining to me. Like Darling in the Franks. I thought Zero Two, I thought the beginning of that series was really great. It didn't keep my attention. I thought it was a really bad anime series, like across the board. Um... Do I still have a Zero Two cosplay? Absolutely. But it's like not one of my favorite series. Demon Slayer, if I didn't start reading the manga first, I don't know if I would have watched the anime because like so many people were like hyping up this series. And so with Attack on Titan, it was the same thing. And I had this floor mat and my partner had come over to my apartment for the first time when we had started dating. And they're like, oh, you like Attack on Titan 2? And I'm like, oh no, I never watched it. I just thought that the mat was funny. And then they had me sit down and watch Attack on Titan and I was hooked. And obviously so because I think I've had an Attack on Titan item in all of my hauls like all year, I think. Yeah, I have, I have like ton I love Eden Yeager and I love Mikasa and I love I love everybody. I even love Rainer. But my favorite, favorite Colossal Titan is Brillo's Attack on Titan or Colossal Titan. I love Armin, but when I look at Armin and I think of Armin, like I don't really think of the Colossal Titan. And if I do, it's just because like him, Ani, and Brillo, like the way that that plot line is streamed is just ugh, I'm getting distracted. I'm someone that wears house slippers. I need a new house slippers and these were perfect. When my partner sees these, I'm sure they're gonna be like, you're a freak, you're a monster, oh my gosh, but I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm happy. Okay, and then the final two items, let's get into them. Okay, and then these are the final two items and I couldn't, I couldn't say no to these. Um, each item that I'm about to mention was less than $10. So the first item is this Yu Yu Hakusho towel blanket is what they call it. It's like a towel material, but what this is for, it's like if you're going to the park or the beach and you want to sit on the sand or you want to sit on the grass, but you don't want to actually sit on the grass or on the sand, you would lay something down. That's what this is. Um, and it's Yu Yu Hakusho. It's got the gang. It's got Yusuke, Hiei, Kurama, and Kuwabara. And the, I don't know, the image is just very much of the Yu Yu Hakusho that I remember from when it was on Toonami. And I just, I needed to have it because Yu Yu Hakusho, this was like my anime that got me into anime. Um, Yusuke Yurim, I used to tell people at school that Yusuke Yurimeshi was my boyfriend. Oh, he's my waifu. He's like my number one waifu. Oh my gosh, I have so much Eden Yeager, Guts, Sasuke Uchiha, and Yusuke like figures and merchandise. And it's just dawning on me that I, I have a type that I like. Dark hair, traumatic backstory. Um, love this. And the, 
The second item, I got this pillow. It's obviously air compressed. I didn't think it was gonna be this big because this was only $8. And I thought it was just gonna be like a smaller pillow. Kind of like this one here from that I have on my chair for Tokyo Revengers. Um, but it's it's larger and the back has this embroidered text of like the of Yu Yu Hakusho, like its logo. And it feels so nice. So I can't wait to open this and have it like fluff up so I can put it on my uh, sofa. But again, it's just, it's the gang. It's not the same images, I don't think. Well, maybe this Karama and this Hiei are the same images on from the towel. I don't know. Anyway, um, love this. It, less than $8. I don't think these are available now, but there's a lot of Yu Yu Hakusho merch coming out. I don't know if that's because there's gonna be a Netflix series coming out, like a live action, or if it, like, didn't they just have like a 25 year anniversary, or is this their 25th year anniversary? I don't, I don't know, I can't recall. Um, but there's lots of Yu Yu Hakusho merchandise always coming out, keychains, um, acrylic figures, all that fun stuff. I'm waiting for the Mega House, like, uh, Mega House does this gal series. They have them for Naruto. They have them for like One Piece and Bleach and things like that, where it's usually just like really pretty uh, figures of the girls. But I know in the Naruto series, there's a Naruto, Sasuke, Gara, and Shikamaru figure. I really wanna get my hands on that Shikamaru figure because he's so pretty. But they're just really nice, beautiful figures like of the same kind of quality and build of like the pretty girl figures or the girls in that series like how they look pretty um and i don't know i want mega house to do like a, a gals series for yu yu hawk show because kurama he's gorgeous hie he's cute kuwabara he deserves the love too i love kuwabara he's annoying but i love him he's a part of the team gotta have him um, and obviously I want to have the pretty Yusuke figure to put with my pretty Naruto and Sasuke figures. Um, so Mega House, if you're watching and I know that you are, uh, where's my Yu Yu Hakusho Gal series, please? I, that's what I want. Um, but let me know in the comments down below, what items like, do you like to buy from Ami Ami? What are some of your favorite anime titles? Are you also waiting for the final part of Attack on Titan? Because like, I talk about the series like it's finished because the manga is finished, but the anime isn't. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. Also, don't forget to tell me what would you like to see in my background? Like, how can I switch it up? I don't know. I was thinking of painting the walls darker. I don't know. Um, still working on it. Anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. And if you liked hanging out with me today and you want to see what I have in other hauls, um, what I'm doing with my makeup, what I'm doing with other topics, I don't know. I might talk about cyberpunk because I've also been playing. I've been playing that every day since 2020, but there's been a new update and I have some thoughts and opinions because a new anime is coming out. And let me tell you if they're releasing anime merch for that series, I'm buying it all because I'm a psychopath. Um, Hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out and I will see you guys in the next video.